welcome to something that can go well within five minutes or can go horribly wrong and it'll take me 30 minutes to an hour. My intention is to do this and get it done well. <laughs> Clearly, this is my Lelia and Feltzii. I'm not going to jiggle her, but I think you can see how high she is in the pot. This was one of the first potting ups that I did for Rapiculus Lelias, and I thought I had her low enough in the pot. Clearly, I was wrong. She is extremely wobbly in there. And you can see that a root is trying to grow, but because of the abrasions, they will fail. I have tried to prop her up with lava rock, as I do. That didn't seem to work out well for this one. Ah, you see that? Yeah, not good. So what I'm planning to do is remove all the media from around the orchid, try to see if I can take her down a notch in the pot without unpotting her and then fill up with media. And uh, yeah, let's see what goes on because I really don't want to unpot her. And I'll tell you why just now. You know, it's funny that I didn't even ever imagine that this would be the orchid I would have to deal with once she was potted up. She was doing really, really well. She even bloomed for me, so I thought this orchid was well on her way. But then suddenly, I noticed how wobbly she was in the pot when I moved her from one shelf to the next. So I didn't intervene sooner because, you know, you don't want to be disturbing an orchid. I want her to get settled down. And yet, it just got worse and worse. So now I'm going in because I can see a new growth coming, which is around the back here. And I know new roots will come from that as well. And that would be my backup, but how this orchid came to be so high in the pot, I really have no explanation. I would have to check my video, my potting up video, and see what went wrong. Was I too heavy handed on the ceramis or what went wrong there? I don't know. But she needs to be stable or steady because despite being tough little critters, Rapiculus lelia roots are not so tough. They are a little bit more delicate and they need so to have some specific watering so that they don't go squishy and die. And I think it's probably what happened here. You see, now, can these be dead roots from previously, or is it because they died while in my care? I can't really say. I know I left bark around her because I didn't want to play with the roots. So that brings me to the conclusion that they were alive and I didn't want to mess around. That's why I left the bark on. Well, since then, they have died. I have a car in the back now. Whoa! Not good. I have a car in the back now that's on idle. And I'm in the middle of this, so I can't stop. Sorry about that. But you see, we have hope with that new growth. And I'm not going to be disturbing this orchid much. From what I can see now, there are no live roots in the pot. Check this out. Oh, it was high noon. Oh, boy. High noon indeed. Right. Oh boy. Okay. You know, oh, and this is loose. You see, I had another new growth right here coming, but this one has been trying to grow for a while and never really amounted to anything. It's a separate piece, but I was going to take this old pseudobulb off as well, but now. Oh, do I, do I not? Should I, should I? Uh, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it because keeping it there, it's going to be less wobbly than taking it off. There's nothing here that I need to chop off. Oh boy. Well, all I can say is it could be a five minute job. And what I'm going to do is continue to remove Lekka this side, Ceramis that side, keep my media separate and just lower her into the pot. And if I see any organic media in here that I can take out, that is what I'm going to do. Just get her back and get her stable. And if I have to, I'm gonna get some skewers and make a little cage around her. 
Alrighty, I've made a little bit of a hollow. I've got my ceramist to the left. I've got my two sizes <laughs> of lava rock here on the right. I made sure to keep sizes and things separate, making my life hopefully a little bit easier. And I've got myself some bamboo skewers because I would like to make a little bit of a support cage around the orchid without burying her too much, but keeping her stable. I just have to make sure I like the height and do this targeted. And yes, I'm using bamboo skewers instead of my plastic supports because I really don't want to have to unpot this whole thing. This is not about aesthetics at the moment. This is until she is settled in of her own accord with her roots. But bamboo skewers will also rot away on me so that eventually one day I can just pull out the skewer and whatever is left inside can stay inside. Now, just making sure I'm getting this rig done properly. Okay, that's her without media around her, so there we go. And seeing as she's lower in the pot, let's fill up. Let me raise her up just a bit and then fill up with the lava rock. That has no business being in there. Big piece of leka. Even when I move her around and turn the pot, I can feel there is... She's already a lot more stable with the skewers in there than she was while I was bringing the orchid outside to deal with her today. Thank goodness. I'm still considering lava rock around her in certain places so that she doesn't move too much anymore. If I can make that happen, that'd be great. If I had had roots, I would have taken everything out and tried, done a clean up kind of thing. But you saw she just came right out. She was literally perched on a thread of roots on the top of the media. How that happened, I cannot explain. It's a question of now observing what she does next because she did bloom for me. And like I said, I thought she was absolutely on her way and I didn't have to do any more with this orchid. So this has surprised me how easily she came out. So I have two little roots there that kind of broke off and I'm going to get some wire to support her around the skewers as well. Yeah, I feel better about that, even though it looks a little bit weird, but for now it serves its purpose. Important thing is to get roots back onto this Lelian Felsii. How strange. I must say I am a little bit surprised. No issues ever, and then suddenly, floop. She lives inside, seeing as she is in a precarious position. I am not exposing her to the harsh elements of the outdoors, so she is a little bit more protected indoors. And let's hope that this little growth will do much, much better than the growth back here which I've kind of been watching for the past four or five months. Let's see. Anyway, if you did spend time watching this video, I would appreciate that very, very much. Thank you for doing so. I hope that you're all having a wonderful day. Your orchids are doing great, no matter what hemisphere you're in. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you're lucky. I'm jealous. End of. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching. Stay safe, everybody. Take care. Bye. <laughs>